Memories of your match with uh, Bret Hart at WrestleMania 8 for the IC title. Ah, man. Um, Bret, uh, I love Bret. He's, uh, I guess the way the story goes, he's related to me. Um, is there truth to that? or is it Yeah, just, well, I, I, I'll just tell you exactly what I know. Is uh, I was born in a place called Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. Uh, and I, I just moved a lot as a kid. And Stu Hart used to run Saskatoon. And they used to take the train. And one day, Bret Hart came to me and said, do you know there's nobody in the world that could have known that that person was my uncle? Because I kept my, my stuff to myself. And Stu was a cousin to whoever that, that person was, my uncle. So a cousin to my uncle. So, you know, whatever it was, it turned out because Brett is such a wonderful guy, it was just cuz became, so whatever that may be. And uh, I remember Brett coming in Toronto, I'll get to that match in Toronto, the very first appearance, I think it was against the sport, a real jerk off man. And Brett was just white, 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 and tr trunks and, you know, uh, Maple Leaf Garden, and the spoiler did this thing to him. And he, he locks up with him, and uh, the spoiler goes back to the ropes. He hooks Brett's, fo Brett's foot before the rough goes, pushes with Brett, lands on his ass again. And I'm watching poor Brett comes back from the thing, he's going to like this. Come on, right? Next time this asshole does that to you. And Brett and I just hit it off. And then when that story came around, uh, it came time for me to move on and if you're gonna pass the torch, I can't think of anybody better than Bret Hart. As far as the match, we, we said hello for about 10 minutes and that was it. Uh, the one thing that uh, has always just been out there that people wanted to know, that as the match went along, um, he started bleeding, Brett. And, and I can tell you, I, I didn't lose that match, but I'll tell you. And that got a lot of heat with the office. And the office actually, after the match, came up to Bret Hart and said, did Piper pressure you into bleeding? Did you see anything? No, I wasn't making time so. So, because they were deaths on that at that time. But they had a shot, a bulldog in their high, a high camera. And when Brett hit, there's a huge puddle of blood there. And on the finish, I put the sleeper on him and you know he kicks back and boom. The reason I did that was just in case, but technically you should have raised his hands before you count on my shoulders. However, we never went into an angle, so I didn't need to use it. On the other hand, the match itself was, a, um, a match for two guys that have wrestled a lot and there wasn't a lot of talking to be done. And if I ever wanted, if I, if I was ever supposed to pass the torch, I felt that that was, that was there. And uh, he's, oh man, you beat me.